Microsoft has unveiled Majorana 1. You probably saw that video, or perhaps you saw this headline and maybe read the article. Unfortunately, you've likely been fed a pile of bullshit. Let's look at the claim. They say the new chip, quote, can observe and control Majorana particles. They say, quote, the Nature paper marks peer-reviewed confirmation that Microsoft has not only been able to create Majorana particles, dot dot dot. They say, quote, each H has four controllable Majoranas. So if you were to read this press release and believe it, you'd think they were onto something enormous. And that'd be right. Producing qubits from Majorana zero modes would be a huge breakthrough. But just like Google's recent press release, you shouldn't believe this one either. Let's go look at that peer-reviewed confirmation. So just three paragraphs into the paper, they say this. By itself, this measurement does not unequivocally distinguish between MZMs in the topological state and fine-tuned low-energy Andreev bound states in the trivial phase. In their discussion section, they say, quote, These measurements do not, by themselves, determine whether the low-energy states detected by interferometry are topological. Essentially, that's saying the same thing that they said before. They can't rule out that they've made Andreev bound states instead. And that distinction matters, because Andreev states can't be used to make qubits. If you want to make qubits in this way, they have to be Majorana zero modes. And they just haven't proven that they've done that. And when Microsoft said peer-reviewed confirmation, yeah, in my view, that's a straight-up lie. And don't trust me, I'm not a condensed matter physicist. The peer reviews are publicly available, and of the four referees, two of them said it shouldn't be published because they didn't prove anything about Majorana zero modes, and that it's really not that special otherwise. Microsoft, do better. Nature, do better.